Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today a little bit of a later one uh, because I am simply just waiting for NFP. Uh, today is a big day. We have non-farm payroll, so the markets are gonna be moving big, big, big today. If we look at your dollar, we can see we have had barcode price action all week. Um, so the market is just yeah waiting and waiting guys for some kind of massive massive move So quickly just looking at the daily time frame. Obviously the daily is still bearish guys. Just keep that in mind This is your swing high. This is your swing low. We've liquidated the high over here We pretty much have kind of like this corrective ascending pattern Preferably I would love to see your USD sell off in towards the downside based on the daily um, Yeah that's pretty much that, uh, looking for that. Uh, preferably looking at the four hour, we can kind of see that the market has slowed down with its upward momentum. Obviously, uh, bulls are still in control uh, as the overall trend is still upward. Um, therefore, uh, if NFP can start breaking the lows today, definitely looking for some more downside momentum. If we fail to break the lows, then obviously we're just gonna continue up higher. And then if we look at the daily, <clears throat> we could move back up in towards, let's say, this old supply zone over here. So that is your dollar. Uh, going in towards the dollar index, I'm not going too much in towards 15 and stuff, guys, because, uh, yeah, whatever uh, is going to happen today is going to happen due to news. Looking at the dollar index, <clears throat> we're at the extreme. Uh, this is the extreme low, the strong low, which should hold if we were to see upward movement. So today, uh, if we can break out of this range, which we've had uh, all week, um, in towards the upside, then obviously I'll be looking for further upside momentum. Most important is that we break this supply zone. If we can break this supply zone over here, then uh, definitely your dollar is gonna fall a lot more. Um, with NFP, maybe we just push in towards here and then we sell off again. This is really your decisional zone uh, over there. And if we fall down lower, then keep an eye on 103.666, uh, this area of demand over here. Going onwards in towards AUD USD, I'm keeping it simple this week, guys, uh, just because the markets are uh, moving as they are. Uh, obviously, as you can see uh, on yesterday, what happened uh, is that we pushed down, but then we found support. We moved back up, rejecting literally that 75% mark once again. So, um, yeah, we're now seeing a change of character. Uh, it seems to be very soon. Uh, this is your overall four hour fractal low. So let's keep an eye on that low if we can break it and start moving and selling off further in towards the downside. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Moving on in towards pound dollar. Uh, pound dollar is also st <laughs> yeah, super stuck all week, man. Uh, damn. Looking at the 15, uh, obviously uh, we didn't really continue with any upward momentum from this demand zone or this demand zone. They were purely just reaction points. Um, so not much happened yesterday uh, and we just continued the overall kind of like range price action here. And then of course, if you kind of like zoom out in towards the four hour, it becomes even more clear that since Monday, we've just been ranging. So again, waiting guys, it's a waiting game. I'm definitely not focusing on these dollar pairs for now um, as there's just no added value in uh, yeah, really trading this. Uh, obviously, uh, I am, if we just go in towards a daily real quick um, and we look at the daily, on the daily you can see um, that this is like the overall swing high, this is the overall swing low. We pulled back in towards um, this supply zone. We broke that supply zone. So this is no fresh supply anymore and there's not really any supply zones left. So yeah, pound dollar could move up higher, but at the same time, we're moving correctively uh, in towards the highs and the market structure is still bearish. So I do still prefer a further sell off downwards. Going in towards NZD USD, um, NZD USD itself, looking at the daily, uh, still has a little bit more room to move up higher. Uh, this is still kind of like the swing high, which I'm targeting. I would like to see a push in towards there and then a sell off um, for the rest, squeezing price action. So wouldn't be surprised with a sell off. Obviously with NFP, if we do move up higher in towards that supply zone, maybe then next week we start to sell off. Uh, it would be a nice accelerator in towards that area of supply. Um, for the rest, not much to be said uh, here on uh, yeah, the four hour. Like, I mean, obviously this was demand over here. We reacted to that. We continued up higher. And now again, you can see we break the high over here straight away a retracement. Um, so yeah, again, kind of ascending corrective price action. I am looking for, for the downside movement, uh, waiting pretty much just for this low over here to go and then to see the market sell off further. Last fall is gold. Gold saw a strong dump yesterday. Um, if we look over here, uh, we can clearly see, just go into 
daily real quick that this was the beginning of the overall buy before the sell. Um, yeah, still not too big of an issue. I mean, overall we have uh, demand in here on the daily fractal structure going towards the four hour uh, and we're now inside demand. Um, so definitely, of course, uh, we have kind of like seen a shift here in structure uh, where we're now breaking this low, which broke this high. Um, but yeah, we're now in demand. So let's see if we can kind of like get a pullback um, and then obviously waiting for NFP as well. But after this overextended move, it wouldn't be strange to start seeing a pullback again. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens inside this four hour area of demand. Thanks guys.